We are here at the Black Lake tram stop on the West Midlands Metro Network and we are going for a tram ride. But this will be no ordinary tram ride as this early on a Sunday morning, just after 7am, we'll be travelling on the very first tram in service to Edgebaston Village. It left the depot at Wensby Parkway at 0713. It will also be the first tram in service beyond Bull Street for many months and we will travel along Corporation Street to Grand Central and then up to Centenary Square and Library before continuing to Brindley Place, Five Ways and Edgebaston Village. The next stop is Dudley Street, Guns Village. A light here. The next stop is Soho, Benson Road. National Rail Services. This tram terminates at Edgebaston Village. The next stop is St Paul's. This stop is Bull Street. A light here for Snow Hill Rail Station for local and national rail services. This tram terminates at Edden Village. Thank you. 
The next stop is Corporation Street. 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 Next stop is Corporation Street. Edgbaston Village. This stop is Grand Central. A light here for New Street Station for local and national rail services. You don't have to get railway This tram terminates at Edgbaston Village. Yeah, it's one of the guys who works here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can you put the blind up a bit? Place. Good morning. 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 Good
Did you wanted to get on the first one, did you? Good morning, everybody. You all wanted to be on the first one, did you? Yes. yes. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Yes. How are you? Everybody's at the front filming away. Yeah. Poor driver. No, no pressure there. So here we are exclusive, right at the front of the cab, heading up Broad Street, the very first service on Broad Street, the tram that will hopefully revolutionise this side of town uh, more than uh, this tram terminates at Edgbaston Village. There we go, we've just uh, come to a nice little stop and certainly for the past three or four years the work to build this tram in this area has been considerable and lots of businesses have had to cope with the road being closed, the uh, road being dug up, the road has been flooded twice when the water mains are burst so many issues apart from the fact that the uh, trams themselves have had chassis problems and the driver at the front there seems to be pressing various buttons and making sure that the journey is super smooth as we head up towards the next stop which is very close to Cineworld on Broad Street. The next stop is Five Ways, a light here for Five Ways Station for local and national rail services. So they were just being told that the name of this stop is Five Ways even though it's short of Five Ways. And the final stop after this will we'll get the chance to go underneath the uh, tunnel at Five Ways and the final stop will be Edgebaston Village. Five Ways, a light here for Five Ways Station for local and national rail services. The next stop is Edgebaston Village where this tram terminates. Yeah. So on the left is Five Guys. <laughs> and on the left is the 12 screen Cineworld multiplex at the top of the Broad Street with the IMAX cinema. So suddenly this cinema will be well within reach of people who are out and about during the day, as indeed will be the 12 screen Odeon Broadway Plaza cinema on the other side of the Five Ways Island. So this bit will be the equivalent, I guess, of the Channel Tunnel. This is our little bit of tunnelling underneath the Five Ways Island. This feels like another pioneering part of the journey, of course, uh, when the line was first extended from Stevenson Street to Centenary Square, that's when the first battery operated tram came into service in order to prevent the landmark building Birmingham Town Hall being disfigured with giant poles and wires and all the other paraphernalia that need to power electric trams. And here we're just coming up to Morris's supermarket on Hagley Road where the terminus will stop at 54 Hagley Road. What will happen next is that the passengers who want to get off will be able to get off here but I rather figure they will be staying on board and then with Andy Street and other people from West Midlands Metro we will be getting off at the first stop on the way back and then we'll just have another quick chat just to see what people make of it <laughs> Having walked around this area extensively in the past few months, you really notice how the integration here of the trams and vehicles is very complicated. Everybody will need their wits about them, as you may have just felt that just going along the area into this bit caused quite a bit of shake on the tram.
This tram terminates at Wolverhampton, St. George's. The next stop is Five Ways. A light here for Five Way Station for local and national rail services. terminates at Wolverhampton, St. George's. <laughs> the next stop is Brindley Place. is Brindley Place. library. A light here for Centenary Square.
terminates at Wolverhampton St George's. terminates at Wolverhampton St George's. The next stop is Grand Central. A light here for New Street Station for local and national rail services. here for New Street Station for local and national rail services. terminates at Wolverhampton St George's.
This stop is Corporation Street. Hampton, St. George's. No, it's mine to be when it restarts, it just doesn't play in its... here for Snow Hill Rail Station for local and national rail services. This stop is Bull Street. A light here for Snow Hill Rail Station for local and national rail services. on this historic first journey with us today, Sunday the 17th of July 2022, Sarah Nichols at Bull Street for Popova Transport.